bueno amigos, eso fue Danza Cuauhtémoc y ahora déjenme hablarles de Nespacuri. Me estaba preguntando Pedro que qué significa Nespacuri. Bueno, para que nosotros sepamos qué significa Nespacuri, vamos entonces a ver a, a Nespacuri para que nos explique qué significa su nombre, porque como es tan largo, yo no se los puedo explicar. Así es que él nos va a hablar precisamente de qué significa su nombre, por qué hace, eh, por qué toca el tambor, que el, el tambor es una cosa muy importante dentro de la, de la, de la danza. Así es que vamos entonces a escuchar a Nespacuri, a Mireles, a quien. Órale, con Verónica. My name is Nespacuri Omekoli. The meaning of my name is uh, la luz en manos de un pure pucha. The translation is light in hands of un pure pucha and the uh, constructive ego. I've danced since I was born. I dance because um, it runs through my family's tradition and um, I want to learn more about it. Uh, yes, I enjoy it very much because I have my family with me and my brother, my sister, my dad, my mother. The most, the thing I, that I enjoy in danza is the drum. The, the drumming for the danzantes gives them the rhythm and uh, without the rhythm they would have um, no way of dancing because the drum gives the beat and the uh, danzantes follow the beat. Okay, my favorite dance is chachayotes and tocho. Um, chachayotes um, is about happiness. It gives a joy to the people. Happy heart. And then, Tochli is rabbit. In uh, Nawa, it's rabbit. So that's why it's a really fun, fast dance. And the message would be uh, that the cultures could teach you quite a few things that you have haven't learned, that you haven't understood correctly. And, and um, it gives you more of the taste of friends and family's traditions and, you, and, and then you could explore your own tradition at the same time. Bueno, ya que estuvimos viendo danzas aztecas, ahora los voy a presentar a un segmento que hicimos allá en México. Eh, les va a dar mucha envidia porque estuvimos visitando muchos lugares lindos allá en México, pero en esta ocasión Diana Segarra y Willy López fueron a visitar una casa museo que se llama Kimberly y estuvieron hablando con el señor eh, gerente general Ramiro Pérez. Él nos va a explicar un poquito más acerca de esta casa museo que es donde se llevó a cabo la película La Noche de la Iguana y que también en ese tiempo pues el protagonista Richard Burton tenía un romance con Elizabeth Taylor. Y bueno, ya saben cómo son los paparazzis, eh, por eso es que Puerto Vallarta, Puerto Vallarta se dio a conocer a nivel internacional por medio de esta película y del romance de Richard Burton y Elizabeth Taylor. Así es que continuamos aquí en el segmento de Puerto Vallarta. Vamos a ver entonces a Diana Segarra y al señor Ramiro Pérez a quien. ¡Órale! Con Verónica. Today I have the honor of being here with the tour manager of the Casa Kimberly, Ramiro Perez. Ramiro, can you please tell me a little bit about the construction of the house and why it's so famous here in Puerto Vallarta? Oh, thank you, Diana, and sure, uh, hello. Uh, this house was built by William Wilson, American architect from California. This architect built the house in uh, 1957, and he also built the set for the movie Night of the Iguana which was uh, filmed by John Houston and Burton was part of the movie. He was here in that year with Elizabeth and they rented this house to stay here during the filming time. A year later, he bought the house for her and since then to 1974, they were here and they used to come here. There's something particular about this house and it is this little bridge that connects both houses because Richard bought 
the house in front across the street from it and they used to communicate via the bridge tell me why it's so important well the, uh, when Burton uh, was here filming the movies this movie Night of the Iguana there were more paparazzi in town than people making the film mm -hmm. and they had this situation each time they were here so they built the bridge to communicate these uh, properties and to avoid the paparazzi and they built the bridge as a replica of the Bridge of Sighs in Venice. Mm -hmm. That's where they fell in love when they were filming Cleopatra. And this uh, bridge, it's also known as the Reconciliation Bridge because there is a door on each side of the bridge. Each time they argue or fall, they like to play this game. They lock the doors and they stay each one on their side. Later on, one of them had to open the door and try to open the door in front, so they always reconcile on the bridge. Okay, thank you very much. So now you know a little bit about the history and why it was so famous with Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton here in the Casa Kimberly. One man, three women, one night. The night of the Iguana. This is the actual set that was constructed in 1961 to film the movie in 1963. The movie starred Richard Burton, Ava Gardner, Susan Lyon, and Deborah Kerr. And this is a movie that gave the world a chance to see Puerto Vallarta. Un hombre, tres mujeres, una noche. La noche de la iguana. Este es el set que se construyó en 1961 para grabar la película La noche de la iguana en 1963. Richard Burton, Deborah Kerr, Ava Gardner y Susan Lyon protagonizaron esta película que dio a conocer al mundo lo que es Puerto Vallarta. 